Good morning.
they came up out of the way mm -hmm. and went and told King David and said to David, Arise and pass quickly over the water. Thus hath Pitbull counsel against you. Then David arose and all the people that were with him and they passed over Jordan. By the morning light, they are like not one of them that was not gone over Jordan. And when Ahithophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his, his donkey and arose and got him home, having to his house and to his city to put his household in order. And he hanged himself yeah. and died and was buried in the suburb of his father. Mm. May the Lord have a blessing for the hearers and doers of this holy word. There is a name I love to hear. I love to see. Father, touch them in a mighty way to let them know that everything is all right. 
that you don't have no perspective person. You're the same on the day that you was on yesterday. Yeah. And then, Father, we thank you for that, Father. Thank you, Lord. When we pray for those that are out on your battlefield, preaching your word in 16 and out, all over this land and country, telling the world about the ways of sin is death, and they forgive to you the eternal life. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. We ask you to press it right now, a mighty way, hold us right now in the palm of your hand. Yeah. And don't let one fall for another. And as we go through the rest of this day, we hope that you do everything pleasurable and acceptable in your sight. Realize that we never would have made it this far without you, Father. Amen. And we pray this in your Son, Jesus' name. And that's all I'll say. Amen. 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 <coughs> What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. We also was commanded to give. We can find an example of this in 1 Corinthians 16, chapter, verses 1 and 2. Not concerning the collection for the saints, as I gave order to the church of Galatia, so also do ye. On the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God has prospered you, that there will be no gathering when I come. Father, who are in heaven, Lord, we come to you at this time. Thank you for the Lord, may have blessed you as to our bodies. Lord, we pray for this connection. We pray for the things we do, be pleasing and accepted by the day. Think about things we pray in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Yeah. They tell me that the storm, storm.
our uh, faith and help challenges. Amen. We want to uh, lift them up Amen. Uh, in our <coughs> prayers. It is good to see everyone who is visiting with us uh, and, if, and if you're visiting with us and not a member of the Church of Christ, we just want you to know how honored we are Amen. to have you with us Amen. here Amen. on this morning. Uh -huh. uh, we do want to uh, just give um, uh, mention uh, of the wonderful lectureship uh, that occurred uh, with the School of Religious Studies in mm -hmm. Little Rock. And uh, uh, certainly, uh, we want to uh, just state mm -hmm. uh, how wonderful it was to be over there. Mm -hmm. Let me call your attention this morning to the Word of God. The second Samuel chapter number 17. Mm -hmm. Second Samuel chapter number 17. I do want to express appreciation to the brothers for such a wonderful job. Amen. 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 Us thus far. Second Samuel chapter 17. And I want to read the emphasis, verses 22 and verse 23. Amen. Second Samuel 17, verse 22 and 23. The Bible says, Then David arose, and all the people that were with him, mm -hmm. and they passed over joy. By the morning light, there lacked not one of them that were not gone over joy. Mm -hmm. And when Ahithophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his donkey and arose and got him home to his house, to his city, and put his household in order and hanged himself and died. Yes, and was buried mm -hmm. in the sepulchre of his father. Yeah. I want to speak from the subject this morning. Mm -hmm. Slaying your giant on the journey. Yeah. Slaying your giant on the journey. Now initially when I mentioned that title, I thought that everyone's mind would go back to the life. But it's not the life that we're going to talk about this morning. But it is a giant that all of us have to be aware of and deal with. You see, we are all on a journey from earth to Eternity. But listen to the Bible in 2 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 11. Peter said, Dearly beloved, mm -hmm. I beseech thee as strangers and people, mm -hmm. abstain from fleshly lusts which do war against the soul. Listen to the Bible in Philippians chapter 3 and verse number 20. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, but our conversation is in heaven, uh -huh. yes. from whence also we look for the same, uh -huh. our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now as we travel from earth to glory, mm -hmm. Peter said that there are some fleshly looks. Mm -hmm. There are some things that war against the soul Come on. that we have to be aware of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Jesus came to this earth in order that he might teach us how to live down here so that we can make heaven our home. Yes, sir. Listen to the Bible in John chapter 10 and verse number 10. 
Jesus said, the thief cometh, mm -hmm. but to steal, kill, mm -hmm. and destroy. Mm -hmm. He said, but I am come that you may have life and that you may have been more abundantly. Mm -hmm. And as we live down here, mm -hmm. there are things that all of us have to deal with. Amen. But we are saved by us Amen. But listen to what Job said in Job 14 mm -hmm. and verse number one. Mm -hmm. Job said, man, that is born of a woman. Is not but a few days. And that giant is a of trouble. Of trouble. Yeah, that's a giant. But Jesus came to show us how to deal with the trouble, the trouble that we have down here. All right. All right. But listen to the Bible in Mark chapter 19 and verse number 29. Jesus said, There is no man mm. that has left. Houses, mm. brothers, mm. sisters, uh -huh. fathers, right. mothers, mm. children, right. and land for my sake. Not mm. one man. And for the gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that he shall receive in this life. Right. Land, house, mm. brother, mm -hmm. sister, yes. mother. Children mm -hmm. and men mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. persecute you. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Even when God blesses you, mm -hmm. we are going to have some persecution mm -hmm. around here. Right. Right. He said, and in the world to come, yeah. eternal life. Mm -hmm. That is something that we have to <coughs> learn how to deal with down here. Yes. We have to learn how to deal with offenses. Uh -huh. yeah. When people hurt us, yeah. when they disappoint us, yeah. and when they let us down. Yeah. Oh, how do you know it, preacher? Listen to the book uh -huh. yeah. in Matthew chapter 18 All right. and verse number, number seven. Jesus says in the second statement, he said, all fences must come. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus said, all fences must come. Must come. In other words, there are going to be times when you are going to hurt other folk. And there will be times when other folk hurt you. There will be times when you make other folk angry. Come on. Mm -hmm. And there are times when other folks will make you angry. Right. Right. Yes, I remember before we had it, I used to hear me and say, Child, my wife and I've been married 10 years. Mm -hmm. And we never had a problem with it. <laughs> and I'm listening to them. All right. And then when we got married, All right. All right. it was six months. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And there are many people. 
people mm -hmm. who are built yeah. in their home. Yeah. Right. Now, right, you already did it. Watch this now. Go to Hebrews chapter number 12. All right. And verse number 14. The Bible says, follow after me with all me yes, sir. and holiness uh -huh. by which, without which no man can shall see the Lord. Yes, sir. Now notice what he said. I like what, what Paul said in Rome. He says, and much like it in you. Yeah, good. Live peace and bliss yeah. with all me. Yeah. But now wait a minute, go back to the Hebrew writer. Uh -huh. He said, lest any man should fail uh -huh. of the grace of God. Uh -huh. Lest the root of bitterness yeah. springing up in you trouble you. <laughs> Thereby many be defined. Yeah. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Have you ever noticed he said the root of bitterness uh -huh. has springs up in you. Somebody uh -huh. said, what is bitterness? Well, well, bitterness comes from the Greek word tigrios. Uh -huh. Tigrios, which really means but it comes in different forms. Mm -hmm. It also means resentfulness. Mm -hmm. It also means something that is difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. You see, when people sometimes make us angry, mm -hmm. if we don't deal with it right, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. will develop into animosity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That will develop that will develop in the hostility, uh -huh. hatred, yeah. malice, mm -hmm. and bitterness. Uh -huh. Wait a yeah. minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch this Come now. On, Come on. Listen, because bitterness hangs out yes. uh -huh. with some folks uh -huh. on the same street corner. Uh -huh. Listen to uh -huh. the apostle uh -huh. in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 31. He says, let all bitterness, mm -hmm. wrath, mm -hmm. anger, clamor, evil speaking, uh -huh. be put away from you. Uh -huh. Well, all matter, wait a minute, wait a minute, yes. matters that has to do with seeking revenge. Yes, sir. Or I want I to hurt you. Just like you heard me. Yeah. But now he serious. said, now you have got to put that away from you. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch this now. Every last one of us in here yeah. have to be on the lookout for bitterness. Mm -hmm. Because bitterness springs up that I'm not much of your God now. Okay. But I do remember. Uh, there's a little bit of our body. Mm -hmm. that there are some weeds mm -hmm. that unless you pluck up the loop, uh -huh. you can't cut it down all you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to come right back mm -hmm. up. Just mm -hmm. And solid. sometimes, church, <laughs> we are not careful. <laughs> oh, man. We will become better. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, why is this not better? Mm. In other words, I'm looking to you. Mm. I'm looking at you. I'm looking to you. I'm talking to you. Mm. I'm, I'm you. even afraid and a smile with you. Yeah. 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 But on the inside, oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> hey. I can't wait. <laughs> Until uh -huh. you get your. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Mm. You see, parents mm. mm -hmm. can turn bitter sure okay. against you. Children can turn it down. Can turn it down. Can turn it down. Can turn it down. Can turn Can turn it down. Can turn it down. Can Yes. Can turn it Can turn it down. 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 Can against preaching. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank God I'm not here. We don't. Amen. Can turn better against church. Yes, sir. 
Husband can turn bitter. Oh, no. Again, wow. Oh, yeah. Wives can turn bitter. Mm. Again, sir. Wait a minute. Wives is not friends can turn bitter. Come on with it, brother. Oh, yes, friends. And do you know this thing about it is the, the writer said it's the root. And it all starts with a seed. Then it grows and sprouts root. Then it turns into a tree. And then the end result is a breach. It will harm other vegetation. Bitterness will not just remain with the person who is bitter. Come on with it. Critical about everything. Everything. Cynical. Mm. Folks speak to you who, who, who have not a thing in the world to you. Amen. But you all frown it up. Amen. 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 I have turned up. <laughs> and this thing yes. about the church here, people can be bitter. Mm. And you just can't see it from the outside. Come on, oh, Make it play, brother. Let's head into the book. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 15, verse number 23. The Bible says, when the children of Israel had come down to Mark, mm -hmm. they went to drink the water. Uh -huh. But they, you can tell by looking at the water. Because okay. the water looked good. Come on with it. But when they went to drink the water, right. the water was bitter. Uh -huh. And they could not drink their love. Uh -huh. Bitterness had a way of taking people with potential and time uh -huh. and destroying them. Yeah. Because bitterness says, I am going to dwell on a past situation, not, not the future. Yeah. I'm bitter, y'all. Mm -hmm. Now, look, come real, come. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Because whenever there is a character in the Bible, mm -hmm. significant characters in the Bible are in there to give us a model that we need to follow. Uh -huh. Or else a warning yes. that we need to hear. Amen. I don't want to talk about Abraham this morning. I don't want to talk about Isaac. All right. I want to talk about a man by the name of a hit of Okay, talk to Now, a hit of faith uh -huh. uh, was David's counselor. Come on. Uh -huh. You know, I don't care what position you have. You yeah. If you are a leader, yeah. right. you recognize I need some other folks yes. beside me yes. who have expertise right. that I do not have. Because yeah. I don't care who you are, God fixes us so well. Not one of us knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Some folks are good at capital, physics, mm. but you put a hammer in their hand. What to do with it? Right. Come, listen to the book, Second Samuel 15 and verse number 12. All right. The first time we are, we hear about a uh -huh. It's when Absalom, David's son, rose up against his own father. Uh -huh. And watch this now. He sat down to get a Hithophel, mm -hmm. who was the counselor, mm. the guy today. Uh -huh. uh, Hithophel, when they went down there to him, uh -huh. he was offering sacrifices to God. Uh -huh. uh, Hithophel was a religious man. Okay. Look at 2 Samuel 16 okay. and verse number 23. Okay. The Bible said that the counsel that Ahithophel gave, that it was as if a man searched for and received 
the oracles of God. In other words, Ahithophel gave some good advice. Watch this church, watch this church. Ahithophel had been David's right hand man. Uh But when David's son rose up against him, Uh Ahithophel left David and went over here Come on. to be with Absalom. So I have a question, church. Well, yeah. switch. How do you lead yeah. from being a good count? Yeah. A religious man. Yeah. A smart man. Uh-huh. To hang in yourself. Yeah. How do you get from over there to over here? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on now. How do you leave from being uh, somebody's best friend? Come on with it. Close friend. Yeah. To now you are joining in camp mm-hmm. against them. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come what happened right, right. to the open of Psalm 55? And I think I want verse number 12. Because you know what? Uh, sometimes. People can be talking to you uh-huh. and grinning with you. Uh-huh. And you have no idea uh-huh. what's running on in their mind. They are looking at you and saying, Oh, you look so nice. Watch that, watch that. But in their mind, uh-huh. they are thinking some totally outwards in Or look at what David says. David said, if it had been an enemy uh-huh. that reproached me, uh-huh. he said, I could have borne it. Uh-huh. Yeah. David said, now, if it had been somebody who hated me, hey. who did magnify himself. Uh-huh. And I what David is saying, if he was my enemy and I knew he was my enemy, uh-huh. I could, I would have hid from him. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know when folks are you in me, and you know they are you in me. You gonna watch yourself all around me. But then David said, okay, "That was my enemy. It was you. You were the one. You were my guy." You were my acquaintance. Yes. You were my some for the one not my familiar friend. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. David said, we used to have good counsel together. Yeah. And we used to go to the house right. of God yes. together. Yeah. Y'all look up, look up, wait a minute. Right. Here I hear the family is. By David's side, mm-hmm. going to church together, mm-hmm. worship together. Mm-hmm. Watch him, watch him. But now, mm-hmm. he has turned on me. Yes, no. I can think about it, David doesn't even know that he has turned on me. I look at 2 Samuel 15 and verse number 31. The Bible said that somebody came and told David. Had to say, I hit the fail. Had John will be conspirator against you. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all don't catch me too fast. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can do things to offend people and you don't even know no, 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 no. that you have done it. Yeah. Sometimes you can do things. That will upset folks. Say thing. Uh-huh. And you have no idea Amen. that you really upset them. Uh-huh. Sometimes people, uh, you are uh, watch this now, watch this now. Because generally, there are some things that will that that will cause bitterness. We can be better because we're jealous. Uh-huh. In this, yeah. you rejected me. Uh-huh. Or oh, I came up and spoke to you and I tried to be nice to you. Come on yeah. with it. And you treated me like 
so bitter. All right. Mm -hmm. Against him. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. David himself never knew what made him so bitter. All right. Watch this now. Watch this now. I searched. Mm -hmm. Some of the scholars say that well, from more second Samuel 11 mm. and verse number three, yeah. you remember when David was on that was on the rooftop, uh -huh. and David saw Bathsheba, uh -huh. and David said, "Yeah, Bathsheba." Oh, he's coming back on. And it was Bathsheba, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. David killed Uriah. Uh -huh. Well, the text says that Bathsheba was the daughter of Eli. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Second Chronicles 23, 34. Yes, the Bible said that Eli uh -huh. was a hit of fail. Revenge. Oh. Wow. No, son, wait a minute. So you got a hit of fail. Mm -hmm. Eli mm -hmm. and Bathsheba. That's family. Mm -hmm. Which meant Bathsheba yeah. was a Hithophel and your friend. That's family. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why wait? Right. It's coming together. The scholars say that. Yeah. But here at Delma, we never know in anything yeah. that the scriptures does not say. Okay. okay.
thing. Yeah. And yeah. instead of being transparent and truthful, yeah. we have left our children to think that it might be something wrong with God. Yeah. So not only do we need not to be better, mm. but let's watch how we treat folk yeah. and yeah. what we say yeah. so that we won't get them a reason to become better. Amen. Now, when you do wrong things, yes. Yes, sir. But let's always be wise. Uh -huh. We don't want the root of bitterness to spring up in us. Amen. Amen. And we don't want to be the cause. No, we don't. Of it springing up in other folks. Are we all together now? Yes, sir. About the giant. Yeah, I know. We and we're going to think about killing the giant all week long, right? Starting the day. Right. Starting the day. Right. Starting the day. Right. Starting right. Starting right. Right. Who the woman caught his stuff. <laughs> and he started just blowing his hope. Oh, oh, wow. The old woman just stopped and got out of the car. Mm. And said, sir, I tell you what. If you fix my car, I'll blow the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so now I stop in the side. And let us get out. And he fix the car. Amen. And you are here watching that right now. Fix my car, put my horn. Burn them down, since I laid my burden down. Burn them down, burn them down, Lord. Burn them down, Lord. Since I laid my burden down. I'm going home to live with Jesus.
Christmas celebration. This will also be our last meeting of 2023. Say the date, sisters. There are my annual sisters gathering will be held this Friday, December the 15th, beginning at 6 p.m. at the home of Sister Barbara Davis. Plenty of food, fun, fellowship, so that we can prepare for appropriate seating. Those sisters planning to attend the sisters gathering are asked to please text Sister Moore today. We all know Sister Moore, though. Hope to see you there. Everyone is asked to please wear my favorite color on December the 24th, chair, which is green. (laughs) (laughs) Our last announcement, second Sunday fellowship at Southside Church in Greenville, Mississippi will be today at what time? Today. Starts at 3. Okay. Um, also, happy birthday and anniversary to all those celebrating for the month of December. Please continue to keep all sick and shut in in prayer. Please continue to keep all bereaved families in prayer. To our visitors, again, thank you for joining us. Amen. 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 We are almost packed today. Amen. Mm-hmm. So, to our visitors, thank you for joining us today online mm-hmm. and in person. Yes. We are grateful and appreciative. For your presence. Amen. 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 On next week, brothers and sisters, don't let bitterness rule in Amen. your heart. Amen. Amen. Watch Amen. how you treat others. Amen. And go out next week and kill the giant. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Amen. God bless you, friends. Amen. Amen. Amen.